Hey guys, let's start with first chapter of blank. The unflappable girl. Where were you at noon? Why are you here? You should go home. I looked at the clock and frowned. It's almost 9 p.m. I was waiting for you at the market, but you didn't come. You were more put together than usual. Where did you go? With who? Please tell me. A noon. A student I had as a client for a portrait drawing in previous days was now asking a lot of questions, as if she owned me. For God's sake, not even my grandmother had ever screwed up my personal life so much. I will not say there is nothing you need to know. Also, stop calling me Aunt New. When did we become close enough to call me that? When you drew my portrait. She smiled at me, showing her wrinkles. She probably believed that I would adore her if she did that, but she wouldn't let my expression show, wouldn't let her smile get to me. Do you mean that I should be close to each client? I chose to address myself as I, without knowing what else was more appropriate. Addressing me as aunt might give her the impression that we were close. That wasn't something I would love to see happen. Just go home. Staying out so late is not safe. Then please tell me where you were. If you answer, I'll go straight home. Hey, I yelled at the girl for unmannerly demanding the answer, but then let out a sigh when I realized that she didn't care in the slightest as she flashed her huge smile. You think I'm annoying, right? I can tell by your face. She was spinning me around while she was constantly looking at my face and trying to look cute. You usually don't show any expression on your face. I love it when you get angry. Can you not bother me anymore? I asked her and she shook her head. Can't. You are my happiness after all. Huh. You're the one girl. The girl winked at me, acting cooler than she actually was, and she said. When I'm next to you, I can feel that energy. What? I jumped when she hugged me with all her strength. I tried to push her away, but it had the opposite effect. She hugged me tighter and wouldn't let go. Did you have a drink? You reek of alcohol. Was it a celebration? There was no celebration. Someone offered me the drink. Can you let me go now? You're too clingy. Wow. You're furious. I'm glad I can make you angry and disturb you. Your face still say it all. Normally, I can't tell since you don't have much expression. Why do you love playing with me? Because I love you. This confession felt like the hundredth time I had heard it. I sighed tiredly and simply let her hold me, not resisting any more. You're still young. Is it a good idea to fall in love with someone so quickly? Aren't you embarrassed to say those things out loud? I'm not ashamed to tell you those things. I always want to show you my love. Repressing your feelings is not good, Auntie. So let your emotions out on me. And I am also the one you can vent to. You can even yell at me when you are angry. Isn't it amazing? I frowned even more. Why did those type of girls exist? Who enjoyed it when other people got angry? From now on, I won't be angry with you. That's great too, because instead you'll smile at me. What? Do you mean that everything I do only works for you? Yes, I want to accept everything from you. I was stunned. My jaw dropped to the floor. The little girl looked at me, a smile on her face. Unconsciously, I looked away. Somehow, I felt blushing. Hurry up and go home now. It's hot and humid outside. I want to take a shower and go to bed. Tell me where you were first. An appointment. Wow. Who did you go out with? A man or a woman? I'm not going to tell you. With whom you were? Now it was the girl's turn to frown. And finally, she let go of me. But it's just a date. I allow it. I don't need your permission. 
what authority do you have over me the authority of your future girlfriend i laughed in irritation and waved my hand for her to leave all right let's just say i have the answer even though it's not the one i want to hear she took a step back and swung her thin purse carelessly ready to leave auntie she turned and called me what thing now i responded with exhaustion in my tone eager to return to my room the next question i received however made me want to smile was she worthy of having a date with you a bit doctor is not a terrible choice even a doctor still got a small rating that means the person is not worthy yet yay yay what because i can be one too when she really left i couldn't help but worry and my eyes followed her in the end i chose to attend her house discreetly to make sure she is safe that wasn't the first time since we met ain yung had been interested in me she would stop by every day after school and leave at 6 in the afternoon certain days i would follow her home wondering where she lived and what she was doing that had been a constant situation for weeks i didn't enjoy expressing my feelings but instead put on a smile that girl was the only one who could make me reveal it even if it was out of irritation it made me scream loudly something i had never done with anyone except for my grandmother of course despite that i never found ain yung in a bad mood she loved to joke with me and would eventually apologize with something like oh i'm sorry but when aunt yung gets angry you seem more like an ordinary person if i scolded other people like that they would certainly start to distance themselves they would certainly start to distance themselves when she was angry she gave off an intimidating aura so i tried to stay away because this girl doesn't pay attention to those reactions and accepted my feelings as if she understood me as if a sponge absorbed water at this time i was hiding on the corner of the street in front of ain yung's house i got on the same bus as her and followed her to this place not far from my house i noticed the girl standing at the entrance hesitant to enter inhaling deeply to suppress her fear she opened the door that seems to have a demon on the other side what was inside the house that was scaring her so much no i didn't want to know that was none of my business her being safe and sound at home was all she needed intervening in other people's problems when it is not my place would create unnecessary stress money should be my biggest concern right now the rent was due soon but i didn't have enough to cover it people can now use their phones to take photos and apps to make themselves look better eliminating the need for someone who is an art expert therefore i had less income in the end i had to use my last resort little girl can i borrow your money lately i have been turning to my younger sister for help in difficult times not caring as much about my pride what else could i do it was unfortunate i am sorry for you kunyu how about you come work with me my adorable little younger sister sam asked me with genuine concern however i was being honest with myself and would always say what i wanted i am not interested that kind of work is not something i can help with but you have been asking for my money too often lately do you hate me now i made a sad voice and pretended to cry that made sam panic and she started apologizing it's not that i am worried about you i never want my money back this lifestyle could only cause problems in the future what happens if i die unexpectedly then i will get all your money kunyu it's a joke i am on a mission to find out who i am i'm not trying to become a mindless office worker i'm also an office worker my little sister said softly i'm kidding 
I am not interested in staying within boundaries and rules. Let me enjoy this freedom a little more. If I find something for me and make some money, I will keep my word and pay you. I took my notebook and turned the pages with my finger. 52,100 baht in total. You actually write it down? I had my pride. To borrow was to borrow. Have you ever asked for money? No, I never did. If that's the case, I'll send you some money. Will it be 20,000? Just send me 4,000. My rent is cheap. However, my little sister was too cute. She gave me 10,000 baht instead of 4,000. I made sure to write down the number so my little sister wouldn't feel sorry for me more than she already did. I looked at the money coming out of the machine and smiled. Now, I was extending my life by a month. But what Khunsam said was worth considering. How much more of this life can I take? If I couldn't discover myself in the end, would I allow myself to trust my sister for the rest of my life? Not in any way. Were there other jobs that required me to use my hands besides drawing and music? The next day, Auntie knew I heard the same nasal voice coming from the same unflappable girl who visited me the night before, just before my usual time to go to my portrait drawing booth. Since that girl found out my address, she had been here more frequently. Aren't we seeing each other too often? Not at all. A few hours is very little time for you. Are you going to the market? Do you need me to bring you something? I am not well. Why are you being so mean? Are you angry now? Ah, it's so refreshing to see you show emotions. I feel special. That girl was totally out of control. Everyone was intimidated when I rolled my face, including my own friends and family. Why don't you go home? You are in your last year of high school, right? Don't you have to worry about college exams? Even you need to mention the exam? I am so bored. The smaller girl suddenly looked exhausted. I was hoping that being with you would cheer me up. Why is the whole world so focused on the exam? Because you are a student. You must concentrate on the exam. Why don't we talk about romance instead? Like, I love you for example. She was sure she hadn't said anything that could lead her to that topic. However, that naughty girl managed to connect everything in her favour. Go back home. I won't do it. I looked at the rebellious girl and realised something. If she reconstructed what she was seeing now with her actions that day at home, What's happening? Just say it. She jumped up to hug me and said, I am running away and you have to let me stay with you. Did I wake up on wrong foot this morning or what? Without hesitation, I forbade her from entering the building and acted coldly towards her. I couldn't be serious. Doing it on my own is already a challenge. How would it be possible for an unknown girl to stay with me too. That was absurd. You can sleep in front of the building. I yelled at her again. My reaction moved her so much that she had to joke with me through her face. If you don't let me sleep with you, I'll sleep here outside the building. Do what you want. If you want me to do what I want, then I will live with you. You slipped again. How cute. Ah. She was going to be the end of me. It seemed like no matter what I did, she wouldn't leave. Was it time to start crying now to push her away? Seriously, could you stop and stop playing with me? I took a deep breath and calmed down as best I could. I do not like this. Auntie Nyu, understand me. Don't let it get to the point where I have to move out because of you. If she couldn't understand me in other ways, then she could be more effective, tougher and more direct. 
I have to turn my back on her and continue walking without looking back. That's it for this chapter guys and I'll see you next with new chapter of Plank pretty soon. Please drop down some comments and let me know how you're finding this series. Thank you.